It's a promise my neighbors I would give them something because they're the most amazing people, right? Um, she has battled like four different cancers and a brain tumor in the last like five, six years. Doctors told her she wouldn't be here today, um, but they're the most amazing human beings. So I told her I would give them a little flower bed area right here. So I bought these two double knockout roses last week. So I just went to Lowe's and bought these and bought these. I bought two more. I bought these and these are two hibiscus plants. So the two um, grass looking ones going to go at the end and this in the middle and of course the roses at the back and I bought mulch to mulch it and I have the weed block already. I have several of um, lots of it in the garage. But look it's raining so I can't do it today so I'm going to have to find another project to do. That's a bummer um, because I really wanted to get it done but uh, Hopefully tomorrow I can do it and it's gonna look really nice. I wanted it to be a surprise surprise But it can't be a surprise because they have like four kids. They're very busy. So they're always in and out. So Just gonna take it out of the car and rest it right there and then see what the rest of the day looks like or tomorrow All right, so the rain is up. So now we're just gonna try and figure out placement So we're just gonna move these two barrels whiskey barrels that they have and put the bike on their front porch like they literally don't care what I do. She doesn't they're so grateful. Um, that's for the flies. This community, every time this year, um, from April to June, flies kill me. Anyways, so we're going to move them now and figure out how deep we want this to come out. Um, Hey listen, I think one of the things that we don't think of when we're buying into a community is the type of neighbors we'll have. I was one of the first on this block, so when I moved in, of course I watched it, watched them build it from the ground up. But then, of course when I was moving in, there was no neighbors to my left or right or right, right, left, left. Um, so I was really specific about my prayer, about the kind of neighbors that I wanted. Because I'd seen too many horror stories online and then the Jamaican in me just wouldn't let me act right if somebody were to do some kind of foolishness. So when I prayed for the kind of neighbors I wanted, I swear God said, okay, cool, I'm going to one-up you. They are the most amazing human beings and then the ones to my left are just as fabulous. And I miss this from back home. The sense of community doesn't really exist here anymore i think um so i hold on to this and i treasure these kinds of things because it is rare man on plant and flower bed related i know you guys hear my little <laughs> nuggets in the back but let me tell you something you have to be specific of your prayers and be very mindful of your prayers, right? Because when I prayed, I prayed for exactly these two kids. And again, God one of us. We have been so blessed and so lucky. They're the most amazing mini humans and we couldn't have asked for better. Um, so that might be it. So, I'm going to come out right here, so. Yeah. I'll go for the two of them now. Alright, so this is the layout. <laughs> Tidy it up a little bit, of course, but I want to give the roses enough space to spread. The rain is coming down, so this is where we're leaving it for right now. So we have the four front ones to plant and then dig the trench, put down the weed blocker and put down the mulch and then we'll be done.
got a little bit more done the rain eased up a little well when the rain stopped i came out and i planted this for so next hopefully i can get done today i'm going to put on a weed barrier mulch it but i have to put a hedging right around it but this is what it's looking like right now so let's see what it looks like in a couple of minutes okay so here i'm just digging a trench right around the garden bed um i obviously didn't dig it deep enough because it needed to go all the way down so if it rains and so on then the mulch does not spill over but i mean i did the best i could with the energy that i had that day because it was hot um so yeah and I know you might be wondering why I didn't put um, more cardboards down, but I'm always saying shop your host. This is what I had on hand, so that's what I used because I didn't want to spend any more budget um, money because I think I already went over the budget at this point. Um, so I pretty much just used what I had. So I went in the garage and searched, and this is what I came up with. So I had that cardboard and I had the weed blocker. So we just went to work. you guys are not used to seeing Nyla a lot in these videos because she don't play about her naps right but this day she went down for a pretty late nap because she was insisting that she be a part of this process now you will see her coming and holding on to me several times throughout this video because she's a little cuddle buddy, cuddle buddy and I love it Oh, you know, I can't be the only one wondering why I continuously come on YouTube and looking like a proper homeless person. But I, hey, it is what it is. I probably do need to go to Walmart and get some YouTube uniform that I can wear when I'm filming. Um, because this ain't it. This ain't life. I can't continue to look like this. Um, but you know what? Um, when I am filming or when I'm in the garden, I don't know how else I'm supposed to look. Because I'm going to get dirty. I'm going to get sweaty. And child, I just can't be bothered. So just pray for me and hopefully in the future I'll present myself in a much better manner. But until then this is it anyway what i've noticed is that gardening has gotten very popular whether people are starting vegetable gardens or they're just planting trees or shrubs or plants to beautify their home um, because every time i go to Lowe's, i swear to god it is packed and then the more i follow people on social media the more i realize that gardening is now becoming a thing which is pretty cool because plants are amazing i mean aside from the benefits they're not the benefits that we are aware of the obvious benefits they are just pretty and i am here for it but the only thing is man if you are not careful and if you don't set a budget you will go broke this is my life Even realize it was going to get this hot it's 86 but the fees are 96 humidity is high and whatever anyways this is what it, it's not perfect by any means i wish the border was a little bit more clean but it's a far cry from where it's coming from um i might come back and add one more bag of mulch i don't know and i might eventually just buy proper bar proper hedging for right here um, but for right now the budget didn't allow that so this is what it looks like and i'm loving it i might even consider putting something at both ends but i didn't want to crowd it out because when the hibiscus is in full bloom it's nice and fluff um so let's see i might just play with uh, some animals at the end just for fun like you know petunia marigold um one of them kind of things but no promises but this is what it looks like right now i'm happy and i know she's gonna be happy it's lights like these in our garden bought them at dollar tree a few years ago and i have a couple over there so i have five left so i'm gonna put four of them over here let's see properly so i put all five so this is what it looks like at night Too cute. 